I just got un unpacked and set up and uh, took me about two hours to get those ladder jacks right and get all my stuff out there and get to the point where they can work. Uh, I got a fire going in here. Beatrice went exploring and right about when I was about to go look for her she came home so while she's sleeping I got about three hours before it gets dark so I'm gonna go outside and get a little work done. Alright, here's the setup. This is going to be slow work. I need to do a little bit of prep too before I can start putting shingles on. i got to fix that corner and put some slicker max up. Alright, this is next to impossible for me to film while I do it, but I'm, I'm going to try a little bit. But uh, this corner here, it, it was puffed out too much for me to get the, the siding tight. So I cut it and put a piece over it. And then up under or under my overhang, and I'm just putting the Tyvek up in here and I'm taping it to the top. I don't know if that's going to help, but it's not going to hurt. And then top of my window, we're going to put some peel and stick, stick over here that adheres up there. And then we're going to lap the Tyvek down over the peel and stick. And I got all these joints are foamed and everything, but it's not a, it's a tricky detail to do. So. And then we'll do over here. Some of this is a little overexposed. It's cold out. Someone said you can use something to kind of like reactivate the stickiness on this peel and stick, but I forget what they said. And it's just stable. It's, it's, it's self healing. So well, as soon as the sun hits it, I think it'll be fine. Let's, we'll make some little bow ties for these corners. All right, I have a feeling everything I just filmed is gonna be garbage. So I'm just showing you guys what I did here. And we'll see if I can use it after. But I, I basically put the house wrap up under. And then I'll, while I'm up here, we'll show you one more thing. So right here, a side, a roof meets a sidewall. And so we need a special piece of flashing that I don't have yet. But it's called a kickout diverter. And water, if it runs down this corner here, it would just trickle down this outside corner of the siding. And you know, just kind of ruin everything. So you need a little piece of metal that kicks the water out, and keeps it from just dripping down this side here. I gotta clean up around here. I decided to work outside today because it's, you know, halfway decent out. It's like 35 degrees and sometimes sunny. So, can I have that, buddy? Will you get off that? I need that. That's my that's for my siding, buddy. You move. <laughs> I just cut this, and she won't she won't get off it. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Why don't you lay in your bed? Yeah, good girl. doing over there? Come here. Let's go inside. Here's my pen. 
There goes my pen. All right, well, it's uh, it's gonna be dark soon, so I'm gonna finish this little row right here, and then oh, I need my pen for that too. And uh, then I'll go inside and do something else. Up the ladder, down the ladder. See if we got one that'll fit in there. Too narrow. It's probably too, too thick. It's just right. Look at that. Sometimes you get lucky. Like extension cord won't reach. To this side of the scaffolding so I gotta go across to use the jigsaw. This one needs to lose too much to plane. It might be worth spending the extra money for the rebutted and resided shingles because these are not square so you end up sometimes it's fine but you don't get a super clean look you can notice that a lot of my cracks are like triangles and that's because they're not parallel to the bottom or perpendicular to the bottom edge can't see my line because my line ended Oh, well, that was a lot of time for not much work, but we did get all set up so I can come out here tomorrow and get a lot of work done. Um, well, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up and I'll see you guys inside for some dinner. You your dinner, buddy? You hungry? Dinner time. Dinner time. There you go. Probably dinner time for me, too. So let's tie up some loose ends here. The, uh, I just got cleaned up and uh, I'm gonna enjoy a cup of tea. And you guys gave me enough suggestions to try different teas for the rest of my life. But there was one tea that, that kept coming up and and this is the one I went with because like eight people said to try it. And it's uh, Yorkshire, Yorkshire. I don't know how to say that. Is it like Ed Sheeran or is it like The Hobbit? Um, but it's very good. I like it a lot. And let's let's tie up another loose end here. Uh, two videos ago, I'll put a link to it. But I asked you guys what you thought about continuing with the whitewash boards or transitioning to regular pine and it was probably 75% to 25% said to uh, switch to regular pine. Um, but I'm in charge around here. Well, actually, Sarah's in charge around here. But I'm going to continue with whitewash boards because I like wood grain a lot, but I, I don't want it to overwhelm this space because the ceiling is going to stay wood. Um, that's already insulated on the outside, so that's going to stay pine. And then the floor is going to be wood. And I think all that wood would be too much. I think it'll the, the whitewash will mute down 
this pine and it'll make the wood that is in here pop. So that's what we're doing there. Um, oh, and I got a very special mug that I'm drinking from. We were, I gotta tell you guys this story. We were visiting my wife's brother and his family in Colorado over the holidays and we were all opening presents on Christmas Day and my niece who is, I don't know how, how old she is, she's maybe eight years old. Uh, she's yay high. I'm not very good at telling kids ages and or remembering numbers. Uh, anyway, she she disappeared and she came back with presents for all of us, which is is neat. But what was really neat about it is that she did this unbeknownst to her parents. She she took her life savings of twenty five dollars and bought us all presents at her school's secret Santa without telling anyone. So I'm drinking from a mug that says Rockin' Uncle. That's me. And then another neat story about my my wife's other brother, my niece, his daughter. Uh, she goes to a really neat school in Asheville where where they get to do all kinds of cool stuff and she was, she gets to take metal shop and welding and she she welded this for me in her class it's it's like a hat rack or a key rack or maybe a coat rack so I'll have to put this up in the cabin uh, once I have walls <laughs> Beatrice is keeping me company it's it's really hot right here all right well I'm gonna cook some dinner and get to bed and then um, we'll start filming again in the morning She's so hot. You're gonna catch on fire, buddy. You really want to sit? Why don't you sit on your bed? You want to sit on your bed? Dog's nuts. Good morning. Just had a bit of breakfast and uh, got my bed all packed up and ready to go. And um, we're gonna get outside and get back at it. Air compressor works better when you plug it in. Man, <clears throat> all these corners are just killing me. Um, we got outside corner, inside corner, outside corner. Uh, so something to think about if you design your own place, you know, all, all of that, any like change of plane, um, see how the sidewall here is lower than the sidewall on the main. So where the roof intersects, that's more work. Every corner is more work. and. I think it's worth it. I think it makes it more interesting to look at. Like I could have had the same cabin if I made this one big box, but you know, it does cost you, cost you a lot of time and labor. I keep 
forgetting to do these corners the right way. And I tried to explain this once before, but I wasn't far enough along. So you see how you see a, a crack here, a crack here, a crack here, there's no crack. Then I did it right, I alternated back to a crack. And on this one I was supposed to cover it, but I forgot. <laughs> so I covered it on this one. But ideally you'd alternate those joints every other course. But I keep forgetting to do it. Okay, and here's one that I kind of did right. So it, it's exposed, it's covered, exposed, covered, exposed. Hopefully I can remember and keep that pattern going. I must not have been paying attention when I put this one up and I can't get I can't get my plane in here. Should give me plenty of room to wrap the rest of this corner and then I can work that way a different day or no well, that's not the greatest but you win some you lose some well, time to move the camera on second thought, we, we might as well continue, we might as well continue these over, this one. Yeah, that, that's probably these two we should do. This shingle is not square. <laughs> now we can, so now we can scribe this. So we're doing two, two, two like this. See, I did that on purpose. <laughs> Not really. All right, first try, let's see if we came close. I just need to take a, a third of an inch off of that. Second try. We need to take another third of an inch. <laughs> now we need to just shave some off up here. We can use the block plane for that. A little more. enough to scribe. It's just a difficult cut because this is tilted. How do we do here? Pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to do up in there. I don't know if I have to like glue stuff or what. I'm sure there's a solution for it. I could probably get little screws in with my palm nailer. The next course will cover this gap. <laughs> my joint. Oh my god. Oh well, it's under a big overhang. My joint's almost exactly on the joint below it. Whoops. All that work. I think it's time for lunch. Oh man. Well, that's just slow work. There's no two ways about it. Uh, but you just got to take your time and enjoy the work, you know, enjoy the process. I think uh, we, we bought our land in 2013 or 14, so if I was in a rush, <laughs> we wouldn't be doing this now. But, hey buddy, you want a sandwich too? I bet you do. You're such a ham for the camera. That's like 1.30, so I'm hoping to get, I made some window frames in the shop. I pre-built them. I'm hoping to get one of them up.
kind of excited about that. But I don't know if we're going to get there. It's so slow. So I spent an entire like day and a half basically from where they changed color up and around the corners and over there. I mean it's just so many cuts and I don't know what I'm going to do up under this overhang. I don't, if anyone knows what you're supposed to do to get up in here, I mean this is like, there's no room. To nail I could maybe use a palm nailer but I have a feeling I would bend every nail so let's see I you know I did a little bit over here to kind of continue the pattern and then it came up and you know I had to basically scribe all of these and I don't, I don't like it when I, I crack this corner. I don't like it when lines line up with these vertical lines. So I never take the easy way out there. I just don't think it looks good. So that made it take longer. And I came around and I, I kind of did it. There's a little notch there, but kind of lined that one up. It's not exactly lined up. And just went around up in here. Put these little triangle pieces in. Some of those I could slide up under, some of them I couldn't. The inside corner looks halfway decent. All these are gonna fade to the same color eventually. And there's the, the cap down there. And I don't know if I can even get over here, hang out off the ladder, and kind of, you know, these ones just kind of had to go but this this will go fast this front up until I have to cut in around all these rafters that'll suck but slow progress and I don't know I might have enough time I've got like 40 whitewash boards in the truck and then underneath it I have shop made window trees 